Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshine, it's Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. The sun is literally going down and a guy is staring at me while I'm doing this intro, but whatever. Today's video is a come thrifting with me and it's actually Black Friday. Savers is 50% off everything, so we're still gonna get a good sale. And I think also after this, I'm going to hit up Goodwill and then possibly Plato's Closet. Massive, like, just come thrifting with me of me going to a bunch of different thrift stores and seeing what kind of sales that they have. Totally just realized that the sale is only on bottoms. So I'm probably not gonna get any tops because I'm gonna go to Goodwill after this and I think they have a better deal. Hopefully, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. When I went thrifting with Jessica, she told me the like way to see if jeans will fit your waist is if you put it around your neck. And if it fits or if it's too big, then you know it'll be too big or too small. This one's a little bit big, so I'll check. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm in the dressing room. I got a couple items here. I think it's kind of gonna be a fail. It was only bottoms that were discounted, which I just didn't read it very well. Um, so I'm gonna try this stuff on, see what happens. If not, so good. Sorry, I'm like super yellow because it's nighttime, but I'm gonna go into Plato's closet. Savers was an absolute fail. I found nothing. I'm gonna go and see what kind of happens. Honestly, I just don't know how this the rifting video is going to go, but I have high hopes. found some Nikes and then also Doc Martens. Let's try them on. I didn't even know they made these. They're clear Converse. Ugh. I wish these were my size. All right, I somehow <coughs> have made it in here. Honestly, it's like really busy. There's no cards, there's nothing to like put my clothes in, but it's really hard to film at the same time so I didn't get really that much footage but here are my items right now so like this one's cute but it has like a bunch of stains on it I don't know if you can see that and it's like eight dollars so so I'm not sure what I actually feel about with the jacket because it looks a little bit too like I don't know professional but the shirt it says feelings on it and I really like it but it's like not a real shirt like you're supposed to tie and like this jacket is cool, but I think it's a little bit too much red for me. And then of course I had to try on a denim jacket. It's cool, but it's very oversized. Don't know how I feel about it. So I did find some stuff at Plato's Closet. I only got four things and I spent like ugh, over $30. This is why I never go or I try not to go to Plato's Closet. Okay, light. Point to use my phone light, I guess. I'm so sorry about the lighting and today's video, I'm feeling very off, but we are now at Goodwill. I have not very high hopes, but we are going to see what happens. This is actually kind of cute. Okay, is this not the best thing you've ever seen? Harry Otter, oh my God. It reminds me of like Marshmallow Man. This Goodwill is like honestly so just thrashed from probably this morning. I really wish this one, it's like pretty massive, but I want it so bad. See, if only I was a little kid because these are so cute. This is actually a brand new Melville shirt. I think it's only like $6. I want to wear it like ironically because I'm not cool, but then at the same time, I don't want people to think that I think I'm actually cool. Literally, I don't understand why this keeps happening to my face. 
guys, it happened. I only spent a dollar. I found something that was on sale. This is like the first time in probably six months. I found, okay, I only found one thing. I know, I know, but it was a dollar and I got to pay with pennies and I'm just happy, but I'm gonna head on home. I'm going to film the actual thrift haul portion in the next couple of days, um, but I will see you then. We are back in a better state of mind. Even though I didn't end up finding anything at Savers on Black Friday, I ended up going back because I had a 30% off coupon and I ended up finding so much more, like so much more. And all those items that I thrifted, I'm actually gonna be giving away. So those will be a little bit at the end. But yeah, I went to Savers first, found nothing. Then I went to Play-Doh's Closet and actually found a pretty good amount of stuff. I don't have any of the tags left because I've already washed everything. I'm actually wearing one of the items right now. It is, which I guess I'll start with. Um, it's just a cream sweater. And in the try-on portion, I said that there were some stains on it. And are there still stains on it? Washing machine got the stains out, which is pretty bomb. But this sweater I'm really loving. It has a bunch of detail. You can't really tell just because it's so bright right now, um, but it has a really nice detailing. This with this whole outfit totally worked and I'm like living for it for sure. And I've been wanting like a really just cute cream sweater that didn't leave fuzz everywhere. It's a little bit more of a like tougher material, which with all the items that I have that shed, I am so sick of it. I don't even have my own animal, yet there's still hair everywhere. I think the sweater was probably, I think it was like $8, and I got all the items for that price. No sales on Black Friday for me. <laughs> then I found this shirt, which I actually really like. It does have red on it, but I wanted a kind of like oversized kind of graphic tee, and I really do like the style of this. It says, good times, and it totally reminds me of a shirt that is probably at Urban Out hitters right now. Um, it's the perfect size. I really like the color of it. It's not a white white. It's more of a cream white, very similar to the sweater that I'm wearing. It's from Junk Food, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. I literally just realized that and I'm so excited. I think I probably paid about $8. You know, I think it's fun. I could wear it under a jacket. I can wear it with a cardigan. I am just loving it. And who doesn't like good tats? <laughs> then I got this shirt, which Again, in the try on portion, like I just didn't understand and I kind of don't understand it, but I just love that it says feelings on it. It's a white crop top. It's from Rock Rose and it's in a small, it definitely is a small, like it is a little bit tight, but I feel like if I have very oversized bottoms, I will put a tighter top just to kind of like even it out a little bit. Um, and it says feelings on it. You may be surprised, but I am not a feelings person. I don't cry during movies. I'm telling you, I don't cry during any movies so seeing this like especially in my family i'm kind of like deemed a lot of the times as the heartless sibling so i just thought it was really funny because of that and then it has this like weird tie thing honestly i think i'll just tuck it in i don't really like the actual tie like out and about finally found thrifted flannels holy moly it took me literally a month but i found them the first one is red <laughs> very red um it's from John Ashford and it's in a large. I think this was probably $10. It was like 10 to 12. All the flannels are actually quite expensive. And yes, I can definitely get flannels less expensive, but the fact that it has taken me a month to find any thrifted flannels was absolutely ridiculous. And I was done and just wanted to get one. So I got this. I do really like it. I like the color. Again, kind of perfect for the holiday season. Maybe skinny jeans, or if you're having, you know, a food baby, you can kind of cover it up and wrap it up. And I have fallen back in love with flannels. Back in the day in high school, flannels were all the rage. I used to borrow my grandpa's flannels and then like, I got over flannels and got rid of them all or just gave them back to my grandpa, I think. Anyway, I really like this. Um, I then went to Goodwill, which again, that Goodwill, like, I don't know, there was some weird vibe, but I did find something for a dollar. I literally paid for it with pennies pennies and i'm so excited like i i feel like finding the one dollar thing is like the unicorn in life and i found the unicorn in life um it is a flannel as well isn't that silly i paid ten dollars for a flannel at plato's closet and then i went to goodwill and found a dollar i don't i don't know i do like this one because it is blue the red is definitely red in your face and this one i feel like with black will look really really awesome it's from high sierra which i have a lot of items from high sierra and i just really like it i definitely could have gotten more after doing my decluttering video i have realized that i probably need to stop buying stuff that number one i don't really love or number two that 
I'm not gonna like resell. I am getting into reselling my thrifted items on my Depop and Poshmark, which I have linked down below. I feel very successful with just getting this item because it's something that, number one, I've been wanting to find something cute for a dollar and I actually found it and I'm so, so happy. This made the entire video worth it. Then, like I said, I ended up going to Savers and got 30% off and all these items are going to be in the giveaway. I've seen a lot of other people do kind of thrifted giveaways and I've always wanted to, but I didn't really understand like, how to do it, um, but now I'm just doing it. And I basically went in and picked up everything that I wanted. And instead of giving it to myself, I'm going to give it to you guys. Look at all this, oh, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna lie, there were some items where I was like, do I have to give it away? Like, I actually really wanna keep it. The first one, I really, really like this shirt just because it is kind of like a graphic tee. And I think it has like a cool message. It says good enough from a company called Next Level. It was $4.99 with 30% off. And I just really, really like the style of this. It is in a large, I would say it's more like a medium to be honest, but you could totally pair this with like some high-waisted jeans. I'm assuming that if you watch my videos, you probably have the same like style sense as me. Then to kind of throw a curveball at you, um, I, I honestly am obsessed with this. I love these type of t-shirts. I have many like wolf t-shirts, lion t-shirts, and it's just one of the, um, what's it called? Like tie-dye, like it's like a tie-dye pastel purple and has a dream catcher on it and it has a little like dove on it. And I just think it's such a cool shirt. I really, really like the colors. I don't really wear pastels that often, but if I were, I feel like this shirt is actually perfect. You can kind of like grunge it up with some black or kind of play with the pastels a little bit. It was only supposed to be $1.99 and I got 30% off that. Um, it is also in an extra large. I would say it's more like a size large, um, but I'm totally digging the entire vibe in the shirt. Then this one, um, it was $1.99 and it's in a large and it seems like a very simple shirt because it is. It has a little cactus patch on it. You know I love my plants. Um, it's from a company called Artist Union. I just think it's so cool. I really like the color. It's not a like bright, bright white. It's more like a wash white with some blues in there. Um, and I just think it's a perfect way to kind of like add something to an outfit if you don't like a lot of patterns. I saw it and I was like, this is me in a shirt. Now, I personally love Disney. I love Disneyland. I just love the whole thing. And hopefully you guys like Disney as well because this is a goofy sweatshirt. It's so nice. It was $3.99 and an extra large and it's obviously made from Disney. And I just really, really, really like it. Love it, it's got a little zipper, and I just think it's so fun. If you don't have a Disneyland by you, maybe this will give you some happiness feels. They actually had a lot of Disney items, but I stopped myself, because some of them, like one of them had just way too much hair in it, like people hair, which is totally fine. Like my hair sheds, I totally understand, but it was too much to like take out. And I was like, I don't want to give that away. <laughs> then we have the mother, of this entire like haul. This thing is so amazing. I went back and forth about giving away or not or just like keeping it for myself, but because of the like style of it, I feel like this is such a gem and I feel like it deserves to be given away to one of you guys. Very oversized jacket. It's so cool. It just has so much going on to it. It's got some like plaid on it. I believe this is suede. I'm not too sure. And then it has like a hood on it. And I just think it's one of the most amazing oversized jackets. It was $14.99. It's in a medium, but I would definitely say it's more like a large. And it's by a company called Maggie Lawrence. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I think it also has shoulder pads in it. It does have shoulder pads. This is gonna be, this is gonna be like really hard to wrap up actually, like all those items, but for you. The rules for the giveaway, number one, you gotta be subscribed and you also have to have your notification bell turned on to be also notified every time I make a new video, just popping that out. Number two, you do also have to be following me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. And number three, you have to comment right down below which item you are most excited to win in this giveaway. Make sure that you also put in your Instagram handle, especially because I am going to be contacting the winner on my Instagram. So obviously I need to like know your Instagram too, to let you know that you won. And it's also international for all y'all that got mad at me that my Depop is not international yet. This is for you. I mean, who, whoever like really wins, but it is international, just so you know. And this giveaway will end on December 9th, but I will see you guys on Wednesday with a brand new video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye.